the music business is bigger, stronger, um, more lucrative than most people imagine it is. Most people say either I'm going to become you too or I'm not. And they don't understand that there are a million other options, a million other niches in the industry of writing for video games or writing for television or arranging or, or uh, you know, per performing, of course. But uh, all the business jobs, you know, all the new companies that are getting created to take advantage of the internet and these new distribution models and new promotion models. So my advice is search your soul, and if it's something you think you're really interested in, it's not just something that you want to do because you're afraid of doing something else, but if you're really serious about it, go for it because it's a big world. Music is everywhere. Music is in my soul. Music is in my feet and my hands. It's everywhere. So I just, I knew I needed to do it to be happy and just, you only live once, right? So you might as well do what you want to be doing. Actually, I was working at night. It was a night shift and everything was just going wrong. And I just thought, why am I doing this? Like, I don't want to be doing this. I want to be working in a studio for 12 hours. So it clicked and I went home that night and I said to my mom, I'm quitting nursing and I'm going into music. I've been here for 12 months and I graduate Tomorrow. Tomorrow is my graduation day, and I already have a professional paid job lined up. Pretty amazing. <laughs> Biggest advice I can give you is go to the place you want to study at and visit it. When you're in the environment, you know if it feels right. I'm Chase Bathia and I'm a video game composer. I started playing alto saxophone in middle school and played for about three years. And I composed when I was really young. And in college I started taking piano lessons and started composing again. I would say the genres that I like to compose the most are ambient, orchestral, jazz, electronic, and hip hop. I'm Nicole and I'd like to tell you about the music therapy department at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC. Music therapy is used throughout Children's Hospital. In the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, or PICU, 
Music therapy often helps children relax, feel comfortable, and safe. Children's board-certified music therapists will consult with your child's medical team before music therapy is offered. And once this therapy is approved, they will become a part of your child's medical team. Music therapists sometimes assist children who are having procedures or tests by helping them shift their attention from their medical treatments to the musical experiences. Music therapists use various techniques to assist infants, children, and teens, and always consider the age and developmental level of each child. Children may be offered shakers or other small instruments to play during the music therapy sessions, or they may simply enjoy hearing music provided specifically for them. Children who are unconscious, connected to tubes, or sedated also may benefit from music therapy. Research demonstrates that music often helps stabilize blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, and oxygen saturation when patients hear soothing and familiar music selected and delivered by a music therapist. Children who receive music therapy in the PICU often cope better with pain and anxiety and are more willing to participate in their medical treatment. Music therapy also arranges for special musical performances in the Eaton Park atrium for inpatients who can leave their rooms as well as for siblings, families, guardians, and guests.